Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bobby McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Valkyria Chronicles. We are about to embark on Chapter 2, Escape from Brule. Alright, so we're heading back to... Isara, Martha. Save Isara and Martha. Please be okay. Maybe you should have gotten armed or something. Martha! What's her problem? Is she pregnant or just fat? Ouch. Who cares? Not gonna make any difference when she's dead. Stop this now! See what she's wearing? Take a good look at that shawl. She's a darkson. And that explains it. I thought this place stunk. Now I know it does. Mm -hmm. So, we got ourselves a fat one and a stinky one. P.U. It's a regular pig farm in here. Huh. Interesting. I will thank you to watch your tongue in this house. Oh. You have to leave now. That's a big gun for such a little girl. Drop it. Isara! Huh? Hold it right there! Oh, get wrecked. Right. Oh no! Welcome's dead. Dark son pig! Or maybe not. Isara, are you okay? I'm okay thanks to you. But Martha, I think she's... Martha! This isn't good. She's gone into labor. <laughs> Moving her would be dangerous. You don't have right. a choice. Well, we can't just leave her here. What are we gonna do? There are a lot of Imperials out there, Ys. It's only a matter of time before they take over the Mill Plaza. Welks, listen. The barn out back. What about it? Our fathers have left us something. Something that might get us out of this mess. Oh, uh, yeah? What could it be? Anyone? Anyone have any idea? I know there's a shaded little picture there that's kind of faded. And you can't see it quite yet. It's a kind of a dead giveaway, but yeah, let's go see. Let's go see what, what it is. To the barn! To the bat barn. Oh, what's that? Is that the Idlevice? Dad's tank. Whoa. I can't believe it's still here. And it's one of a kind. Here it is, the Edelweiss. The Edelweiss. Taylor built it especially for General Gunther. Yeah, and it worked great too. So it's just been parked here in the barn? I wanted to make sure it would still operate, you know, in case of emergencies. Fair play. I enrolled in a maintenance class given by the military. I wanted to be able to do what my father could do. Well, that's great. Nice. But that's only a class, Isara. It really didn't need much. Hardly any alterations at all. Oh, yeah? I just fitted it with a new turbine engine. It really improves on the power to weight ratio. Wow. Clever girl. The Edelweiss is field worthy. Its firepower and mobility are more than a match for recent models. Well, assuming it does work. What's next? All right. Welks, you took the armored vehicle course, didn't you? Yeah. Back in high school. Once. We'll bring Martha here. She'll be safe inside the tank, and we can move to a better location. That doesn't seem like a fun ride. Just leave the driving to me, okay? All you have to do is give the orders. All right, the Edelweiss is coming. They have a tank, now we have a tank. Isara. We ready to roll? Engaging engine. The Edelweiss is ready for deployment. Heck yeah. Alicia could still be out there dodging bullets, buying time for people to evacuate. Here's the plan. We're gonna pick up Alicia and get out of town. Heck yeah, we are. All right, Edelweiss. Move, Move out. out. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's such a good game. Oh, 
Look at that little beast. Little beastie. That Edelweiss is gonna do some damage. You watch. Alright, what's next? Retreat from Brule. You can tell us our situation. Here's the brief, brief for this operation. operation. Three pictures and a map. Okay. The enemy is a squad centered around a single tank, currently advancing from the plaza onto the main road. We need to defend the gate on that road. If the enemy breaches it, the evacuating townspeople will be in danger. They'll probably head for the gate and try to destroy it. The tank will be with them. Our goal here is to take out that tank while keeping the gate standing. Without the help of your tank, it's impossible for us to destroy their tank. Until we can rendezvous, the Brule Town Watch will do everything we can to keep that gate in one piece. The Town Watch will need to hold off the enemy forces until you arrive with the tank. We'll need to use the sandbags around the starting point and the gate for cover to hold back the Empire's attack. Alright, Brule's main gate is destroyed. Welkin, Alicia, die, or 20 turns pass. All right, destroy the enemy let's tank. begin. We've got to stop them here. I don't know how long before we get a tank, but... If this gate falls, there's going to be even more casualties among the townspeople. The town watch will defend this gate so as many people as possible can get away. Yeah. Got a second? Listen close. Yep, listen close. You'll explain about sandbags and hand grenades. By moving behind sandbags and selecting crouch, units' defenses are maximized and extra damage from headshots is negated. When focusing on defense or ending one's turn, it's always best to hide this way. Contrarily, this means that enemies hiding behind cover are well protected and more difficult to defeat as well. This is why the hand grenade is used. Its explosive power can destroy sandbags. Press the tab button, the weapon toggle button, to cycle among your options to hand grenades. In this battle, Alicia possesses some. Grenades are limited in number, so use them wisely. Each player phase, units will recover one hand grenade. Okay, good. I am all over this junk. Alright, so we have three scouts defending against a tank and a shock trooper. Eh, not, a lot of, not a lot of good options here for us. Uh, we, we, we feel a bit, a bit um, unhappy with how things are going. Well... Oh, there's so many bad guys. Alright, there's no way we land four shots on them, but... Oh! I, I was totally wrong. We just landed four shots. We missed the first, and we landed four headshots immediately following that. That's pretty ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie. That is pretty ridiculous. Alright, so we're not only taking on the tank and the shock trooper, we're also taking on four scouts. And it's only the three of us. Well, that does not bode well. We climb to the high ground area. And I don't really think we have much chance, but we might as well go ahead and do a little bit of damage if we can. I I think if we have the high ground, we have an advantage. I, I'm not sure. It might be a mistake. Okay. It's pro it's very possibly a mistake. That we're on the high ground. Alright, so we're gonna crouch here and we're gonna hope that this is gonna be okay. Alright, and we're gonna enter phase and we're gonna hope that this works out. I don't know. Oh, look, there's another scout off to the right. So that's five scouts. We've killed one of them. A shock trooper and a tank. Things are not looking good for us. I feel like our fences are about to get murdered. Oh, God. Oh, he's just going to take the tank out, huh? Or, sorry, the gate out. Alright. Well, we got to rat-a-tat bang on this guy. We should be able to kill him before he does anything. Yep, and we did, but only barely. Okay, we got two more moving. Not sure why, they're sh why they are showing Alicia here. 
That didn't feel good. But we get to retaliate. So that shock trooper probably not feeling super good. We have one more scout moving. This one's a leader. Alright, we took down the leader. So that's going to break a command point from them. And our town watchman, not feeling super good in the spot that he's in right now, but, you know, that's okay. About Ragnade. A small amount of damage is healed at the start of every uh, player's, every each and every player phase. Uh, sometimes the unit has suffered heavy damage and needs to uh, help to arrive faster. They need Ragnade. Uh, yet another product of Ragnade or Ragnade combines healing and antibiotic properties into a single medical package. Select it with the tab button and then press the E button and select a target. Press the crosshairs on a nearby ally to heal them or place them on no one to use this handy item to heal yourself. Alright, we're going to use Alicia. We're going to quickly aim before we get murdered by the tank. And we are going to shoot this guy in his head. And the shock trooper is down. And our friendly neighborhood Ragnade specialist is feeling okay. Okay, I think we just have to sit here and, and wait. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little concerned with him. Okay. And I feel like he might have lost more HP than he gained doing that. I'm not entirely certain. However, what I am certain of is that I'm going to shoot at you, friend. We can land two shots on your head. You will be dead. And we did it! And we do see that guy is still sitting there. Alright, so I think that's going to be it for us. Again, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bit concerned. I don't know what's going to happen. He could run over our, our guy sitting out there. He could run over Alicia. Like, there's a lot of stuff that could happen. He could mortar people. Like... With a tank that close to you, you're not you're not feeling very good. But it looks like they are focused on shooting the gate. No, if this keeps up. Okay, another scout goes down. Perfect. This guy's gonna head out. We should start shooting him. I'm not sure why we're not. Alicia's there. Oh, he's taking shots at our watchman. Watchman gets some shots back though. None of which are headshots, sadly. Is he going to move forward? No, he's not. He's just chilling there. And then, finally, the last of the scouts is going to come forth. I'm going to reload. And he managed to stop and get his boy. Not sure why Alicia... There she goes. I'm like, I'm not sure why Alicia's not firing on him. Alright, so Welkin should be showing up right around now, I, I hope. There he is. Almost as if on cue. Oh, he's pretty far out. Here we go. We did conserve a bit. The tank should be able to breach that wall. It may provide us with a shortcut, Welks. Okay. All right, let's give it a shot. Hang in there, Alicia. Can I run it down, or do I have to shoot it? About tanks. Tanks possess firepower and endurance far beyond that of foot soldiers. Yep. They are able to deflect nearly all gunfire from enemy foot soldiers. This makes them a solid wall for your own ground units to hide behind. Unlike other, or unlike ground units, however, tanks do not recover a portion of their lost HP each turn. Tanks also consume two CP when selected in command mode. Relying too heavily on tanks in battle will quickly lead to a fatal shortage of CP. Additionally, tanks require AP to turn, so take care to plan ahead which direction you'd like to face at the turn's end. Can I just run it down? Just let me run it through. Yeah, I can't. Sweet. Oh, it's a tank! It's a galleon tank! Yeah, it is. Should have thought of Alicia, that first. I'm sorry we're late. Welkin, you have a tank? Apparently. We can talk later. Right now, we need to stop those soldiers. Enemy tank sighted, Welks. Switching to anti-tank combat. Yeah. Armor piercing shells loaded. Let's get him, Isara. All right. Let's go take it down. Let's go. 
All right, no way we can get in range. However, since we are here, about attacking with a tank. Tanks have three major means of attack. Anti-armor shells for other tanks and armored things. Uh, explosive mortar rounds for, well, people. And a mounted machine gun for people too close for the mortars. Anti-armor shells are effective against enemies covered in hard armor, such as tanks. Explosive mortars will hit a broad area with a ragnite blast, ideal against ground units. Mortars travel along an arc, aim for the center of multiple foes for major results, but be aware that ammunition is limited. The best, or sorry, the machine gun is best suited to striking enemies that are too close for the mortar, and it is used to intercept incoming enemies. Press tab to switch between, and, you know, each situation, and blah, 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 blah. Alright, I feel like that's going to hit him. And not only hit him, break a CP, and kill him. Because that's how we do things. Alright, so we need to end our uh, turn. And then we're going to roll out with the Edelweiss once more. Alright, so we know of the weak spot at the back end of a tank. We're going to try and hit that. It's going to take us two shots to do it. Fire! There's the first. About tanks HP. Tanks have two separate HP totals, the body and the tread. Attacks the tank's body and main cannon will reduce the body HP, while blows to the treads will reduce... Yeah, makes sense. If it reaches zero, the tank is destroyed. If, it, if the tread reaches zero, AP is drastically cut. It is easier to deal damage to treads than to the body, even with grenades. Halting a tank before taking it out at your leisure may be a strategy that's both safe and sensible. The glowing blue radiator plate at the tank's rear is its weak point where even standard bullets can do reasonable damage. Try to get behind enemy tanks for a chance to take them down while being careful not to expose your own rear to hostile fire. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna end our action and we are going Entering to... Combat. Scoot forward a bit more so we have less of a chance of missing. And more of a chance of murder. And there it is. We have destroyed a light tank. Operation complete. Yes, we stopped it. Nice work, East. Nice work, East, indeed. Woohoo! Now you're my hero, Welkin. You're welcome. The Imperials are running off for now. Looks like we bought some time at least. Welks! Welks, it's a boy. Oh. Martha had a boy. Oh, you just delivered the baby while piloting a tank. She's impressive. She, she gave birth in Dad's tank. Yes, and without complications, they're both perfectly healthy. Apparently, she's a doctor too. Who knew? Good. That's fantastic. Now let's stay sharp as we head out of town. There we go. A rank. That's right. We handled business. We did what we had to do, and we're leaving Brule now. A new episode has been added. Alright, let's see our... with home at our backs. Final part of Chapter 2. Two hours after the first shots were fired, Brule was under Imperial control. Though a mere skirmish by Empire standards, the raid on Brule would mark Welkin Gunther's first taste of battle and begin his rise to a Galleon hero. No foreshadowing at all. Alicia. I thought I would be ready for this. I knew war meant this might happen. It hurts. Seeing my town overrun like this, seeing all those people killed, it's just not right. How could all this happen? It isn't human, Welkin. No. We look at those birds and see how wild and free they are. But they all have their own territories. 
If anything threatens their home, they'll risk their lives to defend it. People are animals too. We do what we have to, when we have to. Animals are in a constant struggle to stay alive, but I've also seen them help each other, almost like they were cooperating in order to survive. Cooperating? That's why I'm so into studying natural science. That coexistence. I want to know how it works. If we could figure that out, mankind could put it to use for our own survival. That's why I want to be a teacher. So that I can pass that knowledge on to the children. I mean, even if we can't completely eliminate war, at least we might learn to live together as one people. You think so? Welks, look. Martha fell asleep, so that makes me the babysitter. See, Alicia? It's an ugly baby. Oh, he's adorable. No, he's not. Just like you said, even in war, new life happens all around us. Come here. Look, that's your hometown. Don't traumatize the poor child. Someday, we'll come back home again. Yes. Someday soon. I know it. All right. Chapter three. Vassal Urban Warfare. Well, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Another chapter is in the book. Literally, the, the book. Not just the book. Anyway. Um, again, I hope you guys are enjoying. I'm, I'm having a blast. And until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you guys so much for stopping by the Freak Show. And I will see you later. <laughs>